cool. Hey guys, I'm here with NBA Skills trainer Chris Brickley. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Well, I've learned that you've had a long journey to success from your humble beginnings in Louisville, Kentucky. How did your dream start? So, I guess my dream started when I was young, when I was like in fifth, sixth grade. I wanted to be an NBA basketball player. And so I played basketball my whole childhood. I went to college, played at Louisville, and then um, I wasn't good enough to play in the NBA, so I got into coaching. Oh, well, I guess that's really awesome. Hard work does make the dream work. Mm -hmm. Who was the first NBA player you've trained, and how did you get the opportunity? So the first NBA player I trained was J.R. Smith. Smith fires up the three. <laughs> Knocks it down. Um, I got the opportunity because his brother was my college teammate at Louisville. So I met him through there, and yeah, that was the first guy. Well, many people just see the success, but they don't see the struggle it takes to get to the top. Mm -hmm. What was the hardest part of the process in reaching your success? I guess just, you know, going day in and day out, and sometimes you'll be working really, really hard, and you won't see any results, and you just have to keep pushing through that and understand that, you know, success doesn't happen overnight, and if you keep pushing through the adversity, then eventually success will be there. Well, you guys heard him. How has COVID affected your training? So COVID has affected my training a lot. At first, the, you know, the gym, this is my gym. It was closed for like two or three months, and I just was able to do film work with the players. But now the gym's open, and, you know, the players have to get tests, but we can still do workouts. So it's changed, but nothing too crazy. Well, at least the players get to come back in here. Exactly. I bet they really missed it. Exactly. They really did. They did. Well, I've seen you train musicians like J. Cole, mm -hmm. Justin Bieber, <laughs> Quavo, <laughs> French Montana, yeah. but who is the worst and best celebrity in basketball? And be honest. Okay. So uh, with the best, I'll have to go with J. Cole and Chris Brown. And with the worst, um, maybe I'll have to go with Tory Lanez. Oh, me too. No! Damn! 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 Chris Brown still doing the dances. And he makes some shots. He's a very good basketball player. <laughs> Maybe one day you could run a pickup game with Obama. That would be awesome. If Obama sees this, you're definitely invited to this gym. I would even love to work him out. Yep. Come on, Obama. That's what I do. <laughs> you and Obama one on one. I Me, mean, us one on one. We could do that, but I'd rather put him through a workout and see how he can shoot. Because I see the videos and it looks like he has a jumper. Obama. If you could, if you could change anything in the world, what would you change? Anything in the world, um, just no hate. Just that, you know, every, I would love to live in a world where everyone's spreading love, not hating on each other about anything. I think that'd be a pretty cool world. Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice world. Everything's positive, mm -hmm, exactly. no negativity. Exactly. <laughs> well, are you good at NBA 2K? Um, so I play sometimes, but I have a character in the game, which is cool. So when people play NBA 2K, they can train with me like on the video game. So that's like a really cool thing. But me personally, I don't play a lot. But I have seen you, um, 
I have seen you featured on NBA 2K. How did you feel the first time? Like, what was your reaction the first time that you noticed yourself on the game? Yeah, so it didn't it didn't feel real. You know, it's a video game, so I was staring at myself with with my tattoos and my haircut, wearing the clothes I wear. So it didn't look. It was almost. They want a character of me. TK, can you do that? I know. We need to get that done, for sure. Maybe I'll help you do that. Yep. Come on, TK. If you're watching this, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> well, how does it feel to, like, have your own character in a game? Yeah, um, it feels really good. You know, people from all over the world will play it and tag me on my social media, and they're, like, training with me. So, essentially, all day long, there's people that are training with me on the game. So, it's pretty cool. I was playing 2K21 yesterday okay. on my dad's PS5, yeah. and I made it on my player. I made it to you. That's funny. Yeah, how did you like the workout? Did you like it? Yes, it's just really hard because I had to press the buttons really hard. Yeah, it's tough. And I don't want to break a PS5 controller. It's very easy to break. Those PS5s are tough to get. Yeah. Who's your favorite team in 2K? My favorite team in 2K, the Portland Trail Blazers. Ooh. Mine is the Knicks. I know that I know that they suck. I know that they suck. Uh, the breaking news from here is that no matter what the Knicks do, they will suck for my entire life. <laughs> I like the Knicks too. I like your choice. The, the Knicks are probably my second favorite team. Would you like to say anything to the kids watching this interview? Yeah, I guess if you're watching this interview and what you're doing is amazing. I truly think that I've never I've done a lot of interviews in my life and I've never done an interview with someone so young and intelligent and you know just keep keep going. You're going to be you could be a star one day and I really believe that. Well, thank you. But hey, we're not done yet with the interview. David, come on. What's up, Chris Berkeley? My name is David, Jazzy's brother. LeBron or MJ? LeBron. Stop it. Get some help. Eating or sleeping? Eating. What's your favorite food? Pizza. Do you think Melo will ever go back to the Knicks? I hope so. Yeah, me too. A big eruption here at Madison Square Garden as Carmelo Anthony shown on the big screen after a shoot. Most annoying thing to Chris Brickley. People that are rude. Can you actually dunk? Because I heard white men can't jump. Really listen to me. What? White men can't jump. I can dunk. <laughs> Who has a better hairline, Alex Caruso or Good play by Caruso to pass. Or LeBron James? Ooh. Bruh. Ooh, that's a tough question. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron. Favorite candy? Reese's. Mm. What's that? Reese's Take 5 Bar. Chocolate, peanuts, caramel, peanut butter, pretzels. Never heard of it. Where have you been? Under a rock? New to me. Jazz, Jay-Z or Biggie? Or Nas? Jay-Z.